Do YouTuber. YouTube. Do YouTubers. Do YouTubers. I quit. When you're creating a YouTube intro, you have to keep in mind what is the reason that this video exists? Why does this video exist? Because if you don't know why this video exists and you're only just focusing on putting out content, it's not going to work out well for you. So as you see here, if you looked, it, everything is about YouTube, right? It's saying YouTube, 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 YouTube. So you know this video is going to be about YouTube. <laughs> so I'm hitting it home um, as much as possible. Um, and when you're doing, I, I think about it like this, when you're making an intro, this is more than just creating a fancy graphic, right? This is me leading into the story or the content of the video. And that is what the intro is. It's not about having a fancy title. It's about actually telling people what's going to happen in this video, or at least anticipate what's going to happen in this video. Because here, I'm not telling them exactly what's going to be in the video but you know it's going to be about youtube and you hear somebody say i quit well now you know it's probably about the difficulties of being a youtuber right and that's an important thing to understand you don't want to tell them everything but you want to make sure they know what's going to happen if they keep watching this intro is only about, you know, 14 seconds, 12 seconds. Usually, if I'm doing something a bit more high quality, I'd like to have an intro that's a minute. You know, like I want to make sure that I'm able to build up as much suspense for what I'm going to talk about. So then when I get to the content, they'll just sit down and watch it. They don't have to question whether or not it's going to be good. But that doesn't mean a short intro is a problem. Now we're going to go into the specifics here of why this was engaging. Now, firstly, it was engaging because it was short, right? It's a short introduction and that's already good. Secondly, if you look here, I, sourced information I sourced videos from creators that youtubers probably have already seen they've probably already seen Evan they probably already have heard the voice of Robert they probably know who this is they probably know who Mr. Beast is you know they probably already know who this is and what happens is it creates familiarity right it's showing that well, I know that the only reason I watch these creators is to improve myself, to be inspired, and to grow on social media, specifically YouTube. So now, because I created that familiarity, now I could move, I could move in and kind of hone it down even a bit more to show people I am going to talk about YouTube in this video. So I even do a little effect here where it's just a match cut where essentially it's a classic documentary style where I just have screenshots of text that shows YouTube, right, being highlighted, telling people again, this is going to be about YouTube. <laughs> and then I go to, I have these two clips that I lowered the opacity for because I just wanted the audio. And it's she's literally saying I can't take this and then another one that says I quit you know and then a dramatic boom and you can see this is pretty simple right it's not that complex we only have a couple layers here um, we only have really two video layers here and the only reason I have that is just so I could have this on top um, and then we have a couple cuts here, right? We have like, we have a couple cuts here, fast cuts for, because we only want people to just hear the word YouTube. Um, 
And then we have a riser here. Then we have our, we have like camera shutter. So when we're going to each screenshot, it has a sound going to something next. And then we have the caption. So we have this kind of visual element when, when it's being heard because I don't want to use the, the actual video because it might distract from the content that we want to talk about, which is YouTube. And then we have a radio static over here. So we could have a bit of, how do I say, auditory texture. And then we have the dramatic boom, you know. So it's, it's really simple, but it works well because we're really just driving home one point. We're driving one point in this 12 seconds, and that is, this video is about YouTube. You, nothing else. This is not, this is not about, you know, the, the la di das of life, or how to, you know, paint your toenails, or even social media. No, this is YouTube. And it's only about YouTube. So they know, if they're not here for YouTube, they could go somewhere else. That's how you want to structure your introductions. Now, it doesn't need to be as, you know, dramatic as this, but it does help, right? It does help to have some solid editing skills to, to kind of build up that suspense of the video, but it's not necessary. You could just simply say, in this video, we are going to talk about X, Y, Z. And then you could have a little title sequence if you want, keep that short and then get right into the video. You don't need to do anything extra, but a high quality video isn't just about cutting as fast as possible. That's why you see, you know, even though we have this, we're still building suspense here. Like these cuts are nice, but everything is all related to one idea. So it's still easy to follow through. So keep that in mind.